Welcome, my name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at launching the group dialog box by using the keyboard shortcut Alt Shift Right Arrow. So we'll get started now. In the previous two videos, we were looking at how to group and ungroup items by selecting say our column and then pressing Alt Shift Right Arrow. We could then ungroup that same column by making sure that group or that column is selected and pressing Alt Shift Left Arrow. Now, when we have individual columns or specific rows, perhaps many rows selected, and we press Alt Shift Right Arrow, Excel knows that we want to group this as a set of rows. However, if we do not have a specific row or a specific column selected and instead just have a single group or a single set of cells that are selected. When we press Alt, Shift, Right Arrow, Excel will launch the group dialog box. Then we'll have the independent choice of whether or not we want to group these two rows or instead the columns here, that of column B and C. I'm gonna pick columns and then hit OK. And now you'll notice that columns B and C are a group. Now again, if we were to press the Alt Shift right arrow, it would ask us whether we or not we want to group this specific row or column. We'd say row and we would then have a new group. Alternatively, if you wanted to achieve the same result, you could select one or more cells and then come up to group. And when you do not just have columns or just have rows selected, it's going to launch this box and then you could pick, say that you want the columns and a group. So with that, in this video, we looked at using the keyboard shortcut of Alt Shift right arrow to launch the group dialog box. Alternatively, we can come up here and we can go to group or we can press the Alt key, the A key, the G key, and then the G key a second time. And it would also launch the group dialog box. Once we have the group dialog box open, we can decide whether or not we want to group our specific rows or columns. So with that, in our next video, we'll look at launching the ungroup dialog box using the keyboard shortcut Alt Shift Left Arrow. Check that out in our next video, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.